Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Ryan. Okay, so today we are back with some pop music. Now, this is something that you've likely heard in my car, but I don't know if you've ever actually like listened to the song. Hmm. Pro- safe to say no, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, maybe. We'll see. So now you have to listen to it and listen to the lyrics. You're going to love it. Oh. <laughs> All right. I enjoy it. This is one of those songs when it comes on, I turn it up and I'm like dancing and driving, which be safer than me. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all, do the, all the fun things, and uh, Don Nine headphones. I got mine in. Most of them. <laughs> kiki, kiki. Well, I got one in, I got the other one going later. That's very, um, that's very Klingon of you. You got one in. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh. Honey, I'm cracking myself up. What just happened? We're watching through Star Trek for the first time for me, so I'm learning all these things. Anyway, let's do it. Yeah. Danny Kane show stuff. That's what I'm talking about. That That is PD. Oh, is it? Yes. Same time, same place. Oh, it is. Go straight home and get some sleep. Young John, whatever. Young John is the other. No hitting the clubs, y'all hear me? We in the car. They are not listening. Danny the King. Jim Johnson. This bad boy. Let's go. So who who are we looking at here? Who are these people? I just know they're called Danity Kane. Okay, so that's not like a bunch of different artists together doing something. No, no, this is a girl <clears throat> band. Okay. I like the car. It's a nice car. Yeah. I thought you'd like it because it was about cars. I've never actually watched this music video. Yeah? <laughs> it's 90s hip hop? Is this 80s or 90s? Or 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check what year it came out, because I actually have no idea. I've listened to the song for a long time. It's probably now. 2000s. It looks like it's at least HD, right? Early aughts, as the kids would say. I hope if I could spell. Uh-uh. 2006. No. Oh, early ups. How do you know you're old when you're... <laughs> When your teen or when your your young adult years is in 20, 20 plus is considered early odd. <laughs> That's all right. Though. I think I heard the song for the first time at my first radio job. That's how I learned about a lot of the 2000s pop after I graduated high school. You know... I saw somebody, one of the, the singers was wearing like a big chain. It looked like an actual logging chain. Yeah. And that reminds me of when I was in high school and my buddy's dad had a, uh, a hardware store. And we were making our wallet chains. I was like, oh, we should make like chain. You know, we should, we should do that. So we could get this like heavy logging chain that is, it weighs like 20, 25 pounds. Cut my hair. <laughs> Couldn't turn without it ripping hair out. <laughs> I actually don't know this part because this is not in my recording that I listen to all the time. That's probably, I think that's, that's the Young, young Jack. Yeah. Capiche? That whips her. Show, show, stop. 
don't know if I've ever even heard that that song in uh, in your car. So oh, it doesn't yeah. sound familiar to you? Not at all. That's cool. <laughs> but the, I like Dan and E. Kane a lot. I, they didn't stick around for very long. There's a, a couple the, other songs they have of theirs. That a I lot like. of these bands that were had multiple people in them that were kind of like a group thing didn't really stick around that long. Mm-hmm. They had one, maybe two albums that you, that you heard of, and then the other albums that they have just never really made it anywhere. So, but I think that's partly because, and I mean, this is just my opinion. Well, I don't know if it's a fact or not, but like what I've noticed is that in the 2000s, especially the early 2000s, music industry just went through artists, just cycled through real quick. Give them a top 10, get the money off that, sell a couple albums like that album, go platinum, then just boom, get rid of them mm-hmm. next in line, you know? And it kind of still does it a little bit today, mm-hmm. though I don't pay nearly as much attention. <clears throat> do I. So, yeah. I should. We gotta. I. I have to like. I mean, this experience through the channel has helped me broaden a lot of my horizons. When we started dating, um, and we started exchanging music, that broadened a lot of what I knew because I only knew very mainstream, like metal and rock and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't really exposed to a lot of the underground or folk metal or stuff like and and things. So. Um, I don't know. It's been a fun experience learning, but it, when it comes to pop and stuff, I very much sit in my safety zone of like, this is what I listened to in high school. And when I worked in top 40 radio, so it's like, this is my safety zone. And this is what I listen to all the time. Well, and, and to be fair, uh, to be fair, to be fair, well, to be fair, and kind of add to that. I'm in the same boat. Mm-hmm. Where, like doing this here has also shown me that the metal that I grew up with is the metal that I listen to. Yeah. And <clears throat> my opinions based on music now and metal now are solely based on putting it up against what I grew up with, which mm-hmm. isn't fair to the current artists and stuff like that, because to me, that stuff is in a different area. It's like, you can't mess with that. It was perfect because it was early stuff. And then you said, like, oh, they're just trying to be this. Blah. So, yeah, but it's also broadened a little bit. There's a lot of things uh, like the song I'm going to play for you next. So cool. New, but... Well, let's go listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> and Hit let the... us know any <laughs> any recommendations, any yeah. bands, more from Danny Kane or other bands like that group. And uh, yeah, let's get on out of here into the next song. Like, subscribe, do the things, and we'll see you next time. Bye.